All right, so this was the last stage we were at. We're building these flowers. It's going pretty fast. And now I'm bringing in yet another asset, these kind of pink flowers. It might seem like too much too soon, but I don't know. I think we got to build pretty quickly here. I want to move the head a little bit again. I think I can not deal with the fur around the head anymore. And I want to play with the sky. And I can see if I like that change, and I do. So I go up and I hold down Option and I say Layer, Merge Visible. I select all, Command A. Command C to copy, Command V to paste it on. So already I have 15 frames, right? And it's really just getting me to about halfway in my storyboard. So my animation will probably be about 40 frames or so. But now I know how to do them, so it's not as intimidating. Okay, next I'm going to build up my last layer of the kind of hero plants here. And now I build up another layer of these. And because they're rasterized, I get to warp them, play with them. Remember, it's unlightened, so that black doesn't show up. And they're all layering up, so they're really growing out. And it's kind of like a special effect. Hmm. I wonder if at this point I can just turn it to normal and I can start getting rid of this background. They don't need it to be quite so subtle anymore. That allows these flowers to have a little bit more weight. And then as they overlap each other, they don't disappear. You know, that's kind of nice. I can also just, because they're rasterized, erase away from them. So I'm using a soft edged eraser at about 60% opacity. And as long as my computer can keep up with me, I'm good. Come on. <laughs> Good. Okay. So that's what I had. This is the next step. That looks good. Now I want to move the head. Let's keep moving the same head. Kind of up and down. We'll see how silly that looks in the animation test. I think it will look okay. I've stopped warping the body because the, the body is pretty much covered by the flowers. So since I haven't done it in a few frames, I might warp it a little bit at the bottom just to show that it has life. And then the sky. And just move it around. Let's see if I like that. From that to that. Yes, I do. Let's see what the head does. Yep, that works. Hold down Option. Layer merge visible. Now that I have a lot of features that it's layering up, it takes a little bit longer. Command A to select it all, Command C to copy it, go back to the stage, and Command V to paste it in. And we'll paste it in on top as a new layer. Beautiful. Now I'm really pretty much at the middle of my storyboard. So it might be a good time to run a quick animation test. Make frames from layers, set them all to 0 .0 or, uh, 0 
a little bit faster than three frames per second. Throw away that empty background frame. Press play. Head pops out. We zoom in. Flowers start to grow. Head pops out. We zoom in. Flowers start to grow. Head pops out. We zoom in. Flowers start to grow. Yeah, there's not, not a big thing I'm missing, so that works. That's why you test it. Um, the test will show you while it's playing sequentially if, like, you forgot to move the sky or if you forgot something important that's going to catch your eye. Okay, now hit Command-D to deselect. Get rid of that merge layer. Keep that plant group just as it is. Move up to these next ones. Now we're going to do a big leap. We get the big plant. Let's transform it. And now I might even go to normal mode instead of lighten. Oh, I am on normal mode. Good. So why does this look like it looks? Let's see. Oh, because it's only at 68% opacity. So I can start to bring that opacity up a little bit. That makes sense. Now that's a, that's a big jump from this to that. But it could be kind of fun. But maybe I'll downplay it just a little bit by scaling it down. And I can even combine it with another one. Get rid of the black. Scale it way down. Tilt it back here. And maybe push it behind. The computer is doing a heroic job trying to keep up. And maybe dim it a little. Okay, so do I like that? Flower change. Yeah. Okay, so now play with the head. Just a little bit of movement. Play with the sky. See if I like the change from this to this. Yeah, but maybe it's a little strong, so I'm going to go for the overall opacity and take it down just a little bit. More than 60. Let's move it to 72. From that to that. Yep, that looks good. Go to the top. Option. Layer. Merge. Visible. I know this is extremely repetitive, but it's kind of fun. Hypnotic in a way. To practice your mindfulness. And then we deselect, get rid of that combined layer. And we start with more flowers, maybe multiple more flowers. Because you get to decide how long this all needs to take. And at this point, I might start working backwards and see what the, the full extent is of these, this flower invasion I want. Come on, deselect. Hmm. Computer is not responding the way I wanted to respond. What is it doing? Now, even with all my layers, my 
Oh, there we go. My file is still less than a gig. My memory usage is still less than a gig, so that's good. So I'm going to shoot some flowers off over here. Put some up above. So I'm just building assets quickly here. And because I know exactly what they're for, I can be pretty um, loose with them. Those shoot off over this way. This one's going to be up above. That looks like the same one, doesn't it? Let's get rid of that. This one I'm going to flip horizontally, put up into this corner, bring it down. Move it behind, get rid of the stem, <laughs> so much to do. Okay, now working backwards is helpful because if you just keep growing something or making something more and more complex, you won't know how many frames it will take to get there. But if you work backwards, you can decide, I want to do this in five frames, and then you just kind of proportionally move it that much, change it that much. Okay, so this feels like this is really filling the frame. So I don't think I need this one. Ah, uh, why not? It's not worth doing. If it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. Just do I have, have that draping one down below? So let's move that behind. So just kind of nice lighting. Okay, so if that's my extreme version, I can work backwards from that. So how can I do that? Well, here's here's a kind of an easy way. Let's say I want from this step to this step five steps. So I'm going to make five copies of this group with Command J. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to start with the bottom one. And then I'm going to start taking things away. So that's where I left off. So I'm going to add that. And add that. I'm going to up the opacity a little bit. Then I'm going to play with the head. It's like it's farting flowers. Okay, and then play with this guy. Okay, I also...